it is Lisa's time to shine. Welcome back to Cocky Gachas. And in this video, I want to touch on the G Man Fury. And like I promised you guys, after I drew Lizalot and made her origin, if you're unaware, I was going to try to min max with her to see what are the best teams and how much damage we could achieve. And rightfully so on the screen and on the thumbnail, you were able to see that we did 96 million damage. And how did we do that? I'm going to break that down for you. So, first things first, I'm going to talk about the team that I use, and then I'm going to suggest some alternative if you do not have the exact lineup or the ascensions are a bit lacking on your part. So right here you can see this is the Lizalot team that we are using. It's Lizalot, Talia, Haru, Jiho as well as Vivi. So the theory behind this like team itself is very simple, right? Lizalot is the ultimate carry. We do have very good buffs trying to assist her. First we have the Vivi speed buff, although she's not always going to have the speed buff on uh, you do have to, I did manipulate some of the skill rotations to make sure that she almost always had the speed buff when Lizard is about to like ultimate and main skill, right? So that is uh, one thing that you have to take note. Next is Jiho, and Jiho here is very, very important because she provides crit rate buff, but honestly, the crit rate buff is not that important. More importantly, the uh, factor is that she provides sustain as well as also uh, give the uh, Haru the buff trigger effect because Jiho slightly stands forward, right? Compared to other units, she's like a middle ground kind of unit like the Talia which means that she can help to activate Haru's buff otherwise you wouldn't be able to activate Haru's buff right so that is very very important next is of course Haru like I mentioned Haru's buff ultimately is the most important factor when it comes to this team is because 60% attack right when it's be, uh, when it's applied on Lizalot is a lot when you over level Lizalot and if you're asking why is it 60% Lizalot's um, passive actually makes all the buffs she gets 200% effectiveness right or rather plus 100% effectiveness so meaning it gets doubled and that is why that 60% is so key to Liz and also uh, Haru here is our stunner so she can help to trigger the um, stuns on uh, gmmp so that we are able to enter our ultimate phase right and get the ultimate to burst so this is very key next is of course talia and talia here plays a very important role when it comes to two buffs right the attack buff and the defense buff being all the time right as long as she's on the field and also providing the cleanse effect on her main skill as well as the mana regen so that Liz can burst at full damage as well as also having a more frequent burst so that every time um the g Memphis bar reaches max haru is able to have her main skill ready so that we are able to stun all the time so this is basically the justice team's breakdown but what if you do not have this exact lineup? So I've seen a couple other lineups which are also working fine. If you have like a origin Lindsay, you can choose to go with a uh, Lindsay as well. And what I have seen is people running Lindsay, Haru, um, Talia, as well as uh, instead of Vivi, I've seen them run Prim. Right, Prim, the reason why Prim is so good is because looking at this, you can just see right her skill heal right here. There is a wanna see a magic trick. So this one does nothing much, right? It's just a heal. But the artifact itself gives the trigger, right? So when she uses her main skill, there is a 30% chance to grant speed, defense, and crit rate for all allies, which means triple the buffs for Lizalot. So it's a bit of an RNG factor, but what I've seen and what I've heard is that the consistency is still quite good. You're still able to get uh, great amounts of damage but one thing i want you guys to take note is that when running lizard when you're trying to make her the ultimate factor right you're trying to power on as many buffs on her as possible you do want her to be hypo carry right so you do need her to be um over level 200 if you don't have origin lizard i would think that the violet team should be uh, significantly better and also uh, potentially having the lindsay arky team is also going to be good but yeah ultimately if you don't have a origin lizard you might want to experiment it, it yourself whether the undead team does better i do feel like that might be the case so going into the battle you can see this is the exact team like i mentioned i did have haru on level 201 over here i'm not too sure why but either ways i don't think it plays that huge of a part since she's not going to use her ultimate and we do have our lizard over level to level 287 that is very key because all the buffs are going to be stacked on her so you want her to be as much as possible as high level as possible i have yet to test um splitting the levels between between uh, Lizalot as well as Vivi, but I'll definitely test that to see if I can hit 100 million with that. But going into the battle, 
this is where we are going to see the magic play out and i'm going to share with you guys a few pointers i do think this is not the easiest thing to execute because you do have to be quite adept at skill cancellations um, throughout the whole duration so maybe you'll get less results compared to me so right here you can see this is the first skill cancellation on vivi so that she's able to use her second speed buff before getting slapped in the face by freaking um like uh g man fee right so right here you can see we did get the speed buff and uh, that means that our skill cancellation was successful this is the first bar uh, first burst so going into it we are going to once again cancel the vv skill so that she is going to rotate faster and we will be able to get more speed buffs so here i take note not to cancel away laser lots um skill animation so that she's able to line up her, her ragnarok skill right this ragnarok skill removes the physical and uh, magical resist from g Memphi so that she's able to take even more damage right look at this bam instantly applied with the ragnarok so this is lined up uh, perfectly i've tested it multiple times to find the perfect timing to line up and uh, cancel everything but subsequently later into the fight it becomes a bit more rng because i cannot keep my focus for the whole fight which is why the perfect fights now um for my knowledge i'm able to consistently hit more than 90 million all the time but to hit a 96 million or 100 million run i don't i don't think it's that possible um for me until i find a new rotation so right here i'm just going to continuing to um cancel the skills on vv and also make sure not to cancel away the um rotation too much such that she doesn't use her speed up at all right so here you can see line up again the speed up applied and then we, uh, we burst so the speed up is going to be applied every single time when um, I want to attempt to burst uh, the GMMP so that we are able to get one more extra buff right that one extra buff is going to be 100% more attack on the Lizalot which is very very important so as much as possible we'll try that but of course not all the time is going to be possible right so the timing wise you do need a bit of RNG if I'm not wrong um yeah for for the purpose three minutes is too long for me to memorize the perfect rotation i probably memorized the first one minute on how to play this fight but the rest of it is not as optimized i would say but uh, once i find a more optimized way i'll definitely hit 100 million right so by the end of this event i'm looking to hit 100 million um that is my goal uh, for people that are thinking that oh, this is quite crazy damage you are right this is crazy damage because this is lizard being a hyper carry and people have killed um like g Memphi at 128 million i do think her health is 128 million close to 129 million and Killing GMP for me right now is not possible because, uh, to be honest, my lizard is a bit too low level. Unless I find some like mega tech, um, that is able to do so. But otherwise, I think it's just straight up levels I'm missing. Uh, 96 million is pretty high already. If I were to go any higher, though, my Jiho, which is as epic, you can see right, <laughs> epic Jiho. I don't think she's going to survive at higher damage anyways so there is a cap to how much i can do um potentially if i were to have jiho staying at epic but the rest of the fight is just a rinse and repeat i basically like full skill cancellation every single um like uh, main skill of the vv as much as possible sometimes i forget where she is in the rotation which is why i'm quite hesitant to cancel but as much as possible i would try to um not like uh, avoid or rather not to cancel her speed buff while speeding up her rotation so once you use the let's do it fast right which is a speed buff i i know that it's 100 percent clear for me to um do full skill cancellation to skip another like rotation itself for people that are wondering how exactly am i able to do skill rotation you can check out this video over here after watching this video right so uh, go check that out see if you can learn how to do it it's not the easiest thing to learn um it's quite hard for me to explain right here anyways so as you can see 961 stacks which means 96 million looking at the damage you are probably going to see um lizard doing a bunch of freaking damage 72 million just by herself so that about does it for this video like i mentioned if you do want to learn how to skill cancel you want to do more damage in your potential future guild raids as well as all these event boss like stages definitely check out this video over here i touched on that in detail but it is not the easiest thing to learn and practice so start slow i'll see you guys over there this is Koki gachas signing off